Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. In the last episode, we made our way through the first world and today, we make it our way through the second world. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your support on the first episode. I'm so excited you guys have been enjoying this playthrough so far and now we're gonna do world 2-1 and hopefully everything works out with this one. Uh, I know that World 2s, especially in New Super Mario Bros. games, but just sort of in general, can be really difficult. I've, I've never really been the biggest fan of desert areas in Mario games, uh, but I think we'll be able to make our way through. There definitely are some challenging parts in this World 2 for this specific game, but I think we'll be overall okay. Like I said in the previous episode, I really do think this is one of the most difficult New Super Mario Bros. games. Uh, is it the most? It really depends. There's some points in some of the other ones, oh boy, <laughs> where they're a lot more difficult. But this has, like, I feel like an overall more consistent difficulty that the other ones just don't really share. It also has some of the most unique level design comparatively. You really see that New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Wii U, and 2 sort of borrow from each other quite a lot, while this one sort of has a lot of standalone things with it. Regardless, we've already gotten our first star coin. We're beating up a bunch of pokies, which can sometimes be a pain if it wasn't for the fact that we have the fire flower. Oh gosh, <laughs> okay, be careful, be careful. Uh, the good thing is that with the fire flower, if we hit them right on the top, their top little head part, they will just get taken out entirely, but if you know we miss, we can just sort of work their way down, and that's pretty good. Uh, let me get rid of you if I can, thank you. Oh boy, get that start coin, we already got all three. I don't think there's a secret exit for this level, but I'll be trying to get that. Oh, actually, don't know what's down there, but it requires mini Mario, and there's an exit right here. That might actually be a uh, secret exit, because I already got all three star coins, so I don't know what that could be. Maybe it's a secret exit, I can't remember. Ooh, P-Switch, what will this be? This will turn all of the coins into blocks. I guess I didn't need that too much, but it does almost get me a one. I'm so bad with that. I don't know why, but I always mess that up. <laughs> All right, well, the first level in World 2 is done, though, which is very good. I'm glad that I haven't died yet because I'm expecting to die a lot in this world. Okay, so I did just double check. There is no secret exit. I don't know what that mini Mario thing is, but honestly, if it doesn't get us either a secret exit or a star coin, I don't care much. Some of you were pointing out that I've been missing some of these mushroom huts. Really, they don't have too many things I need right now, especially since I already have the power-ups I need. They're much more worth it to wait until later in the game when I'm struggling a bit more to do them. I'll make sure I get everything cleared out, but for right now, my focus is just just the levels themselves. So we're moving into World 2-2, and things are looking pretty good. Uh, oh boy, these Koopas might be a problem. You know, what's interesting about this game is that Mario himself is actually a 3D model, but the, all the enemies, or at least most of them, I mean, some of the uh, more important ones, like the bosses, aren't so much, but, and like the Lakitu here is a 3D model, but the Koopas, they were not 3D models. Uh, they were just normal 2D sprites. I mean, they were sort of kind of 3D, like they were probably 3D renders put in the sprites, sort of, but they're not active models, unlike Mario and stuff. That's, that's really weird. Anyways, uh, let's slam down here. I don't think I've missed much. I know there was a spot before where I could have hit something with a Koopa shell, but I sort of passed it up. I don't know if I'm gonna need that Lakitu cloud. I probably should have kept it with me. Oh, that didn't have much at all. <laughs> okay, well then, allow me to get another one if I can. Uh, hopping up here would be the best. Unless you skedaddle. What are you, you're a coward. <laughs> you don't want me to take your cloud? Oh, where'd he go? He's gone. Okay, here he is again. But I, I don't know if I'm gonna need this cloud or not, but of course that's the fun thing about Lakitus is that you can take their cloud. The unfun thing about them is they're very difficult to fight. But as you can see, you can fly way, way up. So there definitely is room to miss out on some stuff. Oh, speaking of which, a star coin. Is that the first one, the second one? I sure hope that's the first one. Okay, so we haven't missed out on anything just yet. Problem is there could be things above, below, all over the place that I'm missing here. So I'm trying to be careful and it eventually runs out, so you gotta be, you gotta be really careful about how you do that. Oh, here we go, this should be easy. Oh, okay, so that's dark coin number two, right? Yep, 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 okay. Don't get hit by the prana plant. Uh, gotcha. Then big jump, yeah, okay, we got another one. So where is this next one at? I'm not entirely sure, ooh, lots of free stuff there. Hmm, I'm thinking about making my way back upwards in a moment. I mean, usually, Wherever the game is gonna give me. Oh, here we go. There's some coins up here for sure. Another star coin, maybe, all the way at the top, or maybe a coin, or not a coin, but a pipe. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> my clown was about to run out. That was really scary. I bet you there's probably a star coin up here. Let's see. Going up. 
Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> awesome, so let's go into this pipe as well. If we can get some extra lives now, I'm sure it'll be great. I really do like these little secret areas, these little areas with all the clouds and stuff. They have those even in the newest Mario games. Mario Odyssey has a couple cloud areas. Some things never change, and, and that's for the for the best. Oh boy. Uh, whoa, be careful. Be careful. So I'm gonna try to do this one right. If I could run, 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 and then big jump. Yeah, no, come on. I can never do it. I swear it's not as difficult as I'm making it look, but oh well, I tried what I could. So that unlocks the next area, but as you can see, I think there's a secret exit for that world. Uh, I guess maybe the, maybe two, three actually. Yeah, probably two, three is the secret exit, seeing how there is a, uh, a level right below it. Okay, so let's get to it. And just so you guys know, I'm not like looking at a guide for all the star coins. I'm doing all that part myself, but when it comes to the secret exits and stuff, I don't know exactly where they are. I just have a little list that tells me like which levels do have a secret exit and which ones don't. I only refer to it when I need to, but that's just so I'm not spending forever looking through a level that doesn't actually have a secret exit, because that would be silly, wouldn't it? Anyways, I love this level a lot. This one's another one of those like cool little levels that you do sometimes see in other new Super Mario Bros. games, but it's a little bit more common here, and it's just this cool little sewer area. Did I do that correctly? I mean, I suppose I did, because now I can go over here and maybe get a cool power up. Nope, just some coins. And then what is up this one? More coins? Probably. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'll take them. We're about to hit another life and a mushroom that I didn't need. Okay, so. Anything else up here? No, okay, so, so we, we've circled, hey you! That wasn't nice, luckily my fire flower's still chilling out here. It looks like it was a good idea to leave that there. Usually I try to do that for those specific reasons. I know I could pick it up and get some extra points, but I gotta be honest, Mario is not the game I play to get all the points in the world. So this star coin can be a bit tricky, but you can just hop up like that. I think there's more than one way to do that one. Uh, but I also wanna make sure I'm not missing out on anything else. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't see anything else around here. Okay, nothing down in this corner. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This level is just super weird with the mazes, but all that there was there was the star coin. The star coin shouldn't be too difficult, difficult in this level, I don't imagine. I just don't remember where the secret exit is. Okay, so there's something up here. Oh yeah, the water raises and lowers here, and it's a pain in the booty. Oh boy, anything up here? Oh, one up, I'll take that. Wait, come back here. <laughs> Don't you run away from me. I think the water, oh yeah, that's right away to press the button. Was well, there anything down here? Not really. Okay, let me get up here, press the button, and the water will start raising. I do like the, the world two levels where it isn't in the desert, that's for sure. <laughs> but I don't know what it is, but when it comes to Mario games and their sand area designs, the desert levels, I've never really been a f big fan of it. I know that a lot of people say that the water levels are the worst, but I just feel like there are certain design quirks for these kind of areas that can be a little bit difficult. I mean, not this area specifically, but for the World 2 desert areas. Then they're always World 2, because to me, I feel like there's always a pretty large difficulty spike between World 1 and World 2, and then it stay stays pretty pretty easy. Like, it'll, it'll jump up in difficulty, but then it'll sort of slightly jump down for world three and onwards until you get to like world six or seven or eight. And that's when things start picking up again. That's usually how I've seen the difficulty curve for Mario. Anyways, we got some big old piranha plants. None of them are this way though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that there just in case I need it. You never know. And what's going on up here? A number of things. Uh, another piranha plant, you're getting out of here. That's another huge perk of the fire flower. Am I gonna go up the right way? Oh no, I wasn't, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, that might be the right way, I'm not really sure. But let's just double check this one. It seems like it's pretty easy to, oh yeah, I was supposed to go on the bottom one. Cause if I go on the bottom one, I should be able to just, oh, yeah, that was perfect. You just have to run, no, no jumping required for that. That, those kind of jumps are much easier in some of the other new Super Mario Bros. games because you have different power-ups like the propeller cap. And so far, the support of the series has been insanely great. You guys have been watching it and you guys have been telling me you know, how much you enjoy this game and all the things you know about it, which is really cool. Thank you for letting me know. I love reading that kind of stuff from you guys. Uh, but that's definitely getting me excited to play the other new Super Mario Bros. games. Anyways, there's something here, but I don't know if I want to go that way just yet. 
Okay, I guess sort of the idea was that if I didn't have a fire flower, that would have been a whole lot more difficult because I would have had to walk across this bridge without, like, because I wouldn't be able to land down here because of the prana plant. But now I don't have to worry about it. It was pretty easy. And there we go, there is the normal exit for the level. I don't know where the secret exit's supposed to be, so that's gonna take some searching. But for now, I'm gonna try to get this just right, because I really want to get that. No, oh, oh hey! <laughs> okay, I was not expecting this right here. So I should try to, whoop. Oh! Yeah, okay, we, we made it just fine. One up for us, we get 24 lives. I feel like I was making some good progress with the lives, now I'm slowed down a lot. That's gonna happen through World 2. It's a tougher hold. So there's two, three completed normally, but we ain't quite done yet. Let's hop back in and try to find that secret exit. I think I know where it is, but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to discover it together. I think we gotta go back to where we pressed the button and the water raised. Excuse me, Koopas, out of my way. But yeah, if we keep moving beyond that, we should be good. I don't even have to worry about power-ups or nothing. We should just be fine with moving forward. I just gotta be careful of the bat. Don't bother me, Mr. Bat. He just keeps following me. Leave me alone. What a jerk. But yeah, if we go back to the place where we pressed the button, which was pretty early on in the level, I do love seeing the level progress meter on the right, but I gotta be honest, it's not always the most helpful because sometimes the levels are a bit more vertical than they are left to right, so that doesn't really always give the best re representation of how far you are in the level. But it is still pretty cool to see. You, don't, you never see that, and I think like any other Mario game is a little meter to tell you how far you've gone in the level. But I think we need this, and then we need to get up here, and then I just need to swim, or maybe not. I thought there was gonna be a way to get up there. Or maybe there is and I just missed it. Was there a button up there for a second? Or was that my eyes messing with me? Might have been my eyes messing with me. Let's try that again and see what else I can maybe find. Because I have a feeling it has to do something with this. I almost totally remember having something to do with this. Oh, there is, see, look at that. Oh man, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye there. Oh boy, <laughs> they don't give me much time for that one. And there we go, we made it. Now can I get up like this? And then, oh no, oh boy, that is not easy. Maybe I could try that again. Ah, oh. oh well, I did what I could. Well, there's another one done. That is the secret exit, which is gonna lead us to a whole bunch of things. It leads us to a bonus level, and if we get the secret exit for this bonus level, you can see we can get a number of other things. But that's 2A, so we'll worry about that later. For now, we'll do 2-4. I forgot what button was A. I always get that mixed up because PlayStation is like the opposite. And same thing with like, I think Xbox. Hmm, oh yeah, I remember this. This this one's weird. You press the button and then it gives you a little hill to climb up. And I feel like this got really tough later on. So I think it comes back. Oh boy. Well, we, we still have a lot more to go. This is a pretty long world as well without the bonus levels and stuff. Can you get out of here? I'm done with you. One of these will probably have a fire flower, right? No, okay, well, well, geez. I mean, I could just get the fire flower from the touch screen, but I think I'll be fine with what I got <laughs> for now. Oh, excuse, no, never mind then, because that was total baloney. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of both of you. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> I was not expecting it to actually work out my way. That was cool. Okay, let's move. Whoa, don't ruin my fire flower fun the moment I get it. Just gotta be careful, because there are piranha plants everywhere, and they really don't like you having fun. Oh, there's definitely something to the left. But a lot of you, oh, here we go. Have let me know that you really wanna see me play some other Mario games, either it be the other new Super Mario Bros. games, or Super Mario Sunshine, and that kind of stuff. I'm all ears for it, so thank you for letting me know what games you wanna see me play. And I definitely wanna to get to play more older Mario games, because they're a lot of fun. I really like a lot of the older Mario games. And older games in general. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. What's down this way, then? Maybe this is a secret exit as well. Uh, it may actually be. Hmm, then we might wanna leave this for later. I don't know, then. <laughs> I mean, I only have one out of the three star coins, which is an issue. I'm thinking that I mean, maybe not though. Maybe that's where we'll find the mini mushroom. I just wanna explore a little bit more before we go for that. Okay, so we got some coins. I very luckily landed on that Goomba. Oh, you know what? I do remember this. Okay, so we could backtrack a little, I think. I mean, I don't know if I actually have to bring in, because sometimes these games do that, 
is that sometimes you have to bring in your own power up, and I think that's exactly what we have to do here, unless that little pipe that was over there has, whoa, leave me alone, <laughs> you big bully. Unless this pipe down here does have a mini Mario, this might actually just be the secret exit, but hey, if we find it now, we find it later, what's it matter? Oop, get rid of you, and then slam down here, or not. <laughs> I, was I was gonna try to butt slam, but. Okay, look at this, underground and underwater. Very cool. Let's get rid of you. Look at all those coins he's trailed around. Right, that was very, very fun. Get up like this, and we're good. We are good. Oh yeah, okay, so that one was a little bit different than I was expect. Oh, I wasn't supposed to hit the button. All right, we gotta wait. <laughs> just sit on your butt, Mario. Take a second to think. Okay, so now we just run across and grab that star coin, but as you can see, that was, oh no, that was the second one. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be the third one. So where is the second, or the third one at? I already got the, the second one. Maybe it has something to do with this? No. <laughs> Oh, but this is actually doing more than one thing. Where is it? Oh, there, it's just right here. I keep on thinking there's like some more elaborate secrets in what there actually is. Oh boy, ah, oh, come on, I almost got rid of all of them too. Fine, you know what, give me that. I am out of here, actually. Let me get my retribution on you if I can. You're throwing your hammers at me. Come on, down here, down here. Oh, oh, yeah, no! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna go ahead and click on this. There you go. Click it, tap it, it's all the same. Okay, so there's no power up here at all? I was really hoping there was gonna be. There's no power up there at all. Oh well, that's why I came back. Okay, no wait, no wait, <laughs> no, the Koopa ruined me. Oh no. Okay, so I took a bit of a beating, but I got that third star coin back. Oh boy, I think that's where you could do the infinite one-up glitch. Not too interested. Oh, come on. Can I get back up? I can't. Oh well. <laughs> I am just a mess today. So I need to go back into this level again and get with a mini Mario mushroom thing. So that's gonna be tough. I don't know if I could maybe go into the level without it. Like it can be in my uh, bottom screen and activate it that way. Well, we'll try and find out. This should be our first mushroom while we're going in, which is exciting. Hopefully it'll give me exactly what I need, but we'll have to find out together. Oh boy. Come on, ah, oh, oh, that's not what I was looking for. Oh well. So I have to go to each mushroom hut until I get what I'm looking for, which will be a total pain in the booty, but what more am I supposed to do? I could go to one of these and see if this coughs up, because that's definitely possible. Uh, but usually it doesn't. Here, let me go ahead, and I don't know where it is right now, but I'll let myself turn into Fire Flower Mario and see if it'll just give it to me. Oh boy, oh, <laughs> come on, dude. Ah, no, that's so unfair. That's so unfair. Come on, get out of here. Everybody's bombarding me. I just want to get a power up. Boop, wait, 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 boop. Yeah, I got it. Now the problem is I have to survive this level. Oh, that's gonna be the worst. Because I think if I just leave, it won't give me the power up. So I will be right back and I'll try to see if this works out. Okay, so so far I've done a really good job with this mini Mario. I don't know how much more I can handle. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Oh gosh, it just never ends. There's just constantly obstacles here to destroy my fun. Come on, come on, be careful, be careful. And then land down here, oh, we made it. We made it, it happened. That was so lucky. And then it just should be the exit, <laughs> look at that. Oh boy, oh boy, that was a problem. Jump, you know what, do I really care for the, the one-up thing here? I mean, maybe I should, because it's all in good fun. But I survived, I did it with Mini Mario, which means that's the secret exit done. Very cool, and that should unlock an awesome shortcut that goes all the way down that way. We aren't gonna do that right now. We're gonna do that later. But uh, for now, we'll open up this big mushroom hut, which is very, very cool, and we'll save. So we're still only about halfway through this world. It's a very long one, and now we got World 2 Tower. It's gonna be tough, but I'm sure it'll, it'll work out eventually. Especially as mini Mario, I need to be careful. I don't think... Yeah, the tower doesn't have a secret exit, which is good. But for now, we have these little Ferris wheel things, basically. The only problem with this is now that if I hit a question block that I would normally get like a fire flower from, it's only a mushroom, because I'm technically mini Mario. Oh boy, no, 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 no. Oh boy, <laughs> this is not good. I'm not the biggest fan of Ferris wheels, especially when I can't see the bottom and I'm supposed to be jumping from place to place. How do I get up there? I totally forgot. 
This dry bones. I don't know how he's putting himself back together. His head and his body were super separated. So there's nothing down here. Okay. I love this little tight tightrope thing. Pretty cool. Still don't know how to get to that star coin, but they sort of gave me a sneak peek at it. I think that was sort of my chance to figure it out. There is just a ton of tricky stuff going on here. What is up here? Oh, a door. Maybe that wasn't the first star coin. I am super confused. What in the world is this? Uh, whoa, 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 I don't remember this at all. Oh, it's up there. How do I get that? Uh, how in the world? No, wait, 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 I fell, because I got confused. Do I get to do it again? I do, okay. So, it just sort of bounces back and forth between these two things, so I think what I gotta do is I have to get on top of it somehow. That looks like it's the case. Because then it just falls back down. So I'm gonna do what I can to, oh boy, not do that. <laughs> Land on it. Ready, set, go. Now I just gotta wait on it for a couple of seconds. Be very careful, don't get squished or something. And got it. Oh, look at how cool that was. And then where will this lead me? Is this a good idea to take this one? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that was the second star coin. How bizarre is that? Where are we now? Do I have to do this twice? I think I messed something up. I think it's putting me farther than where I was before. Oh, I'm finding all kinds of secrets here. Hold on, before we go, oh my gosh, we're falling quick. I wanted to go back if, if the game will let me. First off, free power up, yes please. Oh, we can go back down here. That's very good. Because there's a number of things we can check out this way, including the star coin. Ha ha, I pieced it together. There's the first two. And then I'm definitely gonna get this red ring because if I could get an extra fire flower, that'd be good. I've been a little low on power ups the last couple levels. They've been real tough ones. Come on, come on, I'm already, oh, I'm really down on time. What, a one up? I need an extra fire flower though for my little extra item slot. This is a problem. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this in 90 seconds. It's not even a full 90 seconds. The Mario clock goes faster than real world, real, real world clocks for whatever reason. I mean, I guess it just sort of shows what kind of difficult life Mario has, but this is the little extra area we got for, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Pressing that button that was up by the pipe. Ow, no, I needed that. I really needed the assistance that that would have given me. So we're gonna have to find a quick way to beat up Bowser. Junior, come on, dude, out of my way. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm gonna run out of time, and I feel like I'm playing way worse because I'm stressing out. Okay, Bowser Jr. is gonna be right here. Is there any kind of like secret power up I can get somewhere? No? Fine, fine, I'll do it the way I am. I think if we butt slam on him, it'll do extra damage. So let's see, because he's gonna run at me, and then he's gonna try to fake me out, right, or not. Ah, I got him! Okay, now he's gonna do that, and then boop! Yeah, I got him! See you, dude! <laughs> All right, we took him out! That was not a lot of moving on that platform. It's very tiny. Oh gosh, that, that that was really cutting it close, but hey, we did it. I'm super happy to say. So that means we have our next level opened up for us and I can save, which I will gladly do. And then uh, we can open this up as well. We'll go, we'll go into this one because it'll give us extra lives and it's always a good time for extra lives unless I'm at 99 lives. Save, yep, yep, yep. I don't wanna use these mushroom huts just yet because as we saw earlier in today's episode, there might be a point in time where I need a mini Mario or shell Mario or something for a power up or for, for a star coin or secret exit or something. I wanna be able to have that available for me. So for right now, I'm not gonna do that. So the last two times we tried this, he was in the second spot. Okay, ooh, times three? Ah, uh, okay, so we got what? Four mushrooms there? I guess just five. That's still good, very good. Very, very good indeed. Okay, I'm happy with that one. So we can move on to our next area, which is two, five. And this one might be difficult, I can't remember. They're all difficult, it's world two. The desert levels are the worst. So what is this gonna give me? Another, another mini Mario. Oh, I don't know if I wanna take that. I don't think it's gonna be helpful for this area. All right, I'm just gonna leave that there. Oh, are there the really difficult enemies here, the little question blocks that jump around? Oh, I see one. Yep, yep, he just, he just teased it. <laughs> They're so weird. There you go. Oh, he dropped a, thank you. I've been looking for that for a little while now. An extra fire flower. 
So there isn't too much going on with these. I'm just trying to get rid of as many as I possibly can because they, they're dangerous. Because he'll jump around like that, like a little lunatic. Maybe I can ride you over here. Because it looks like, oh, oh, there is. Can you, can you make a little jump over this way? Can you please jump, sir? Oh, ah, almost, almost. Let's try that again with this guy. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, come on, you're going the wrong way. Go this way. Why aren't you jumping? Please, oh no, I messed it up. It's difficult. Okay, yes, all right. I won't destroy you because of how helpful you were there. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's that done. That was a tricky star coin. I'll say that much. Be careful this guy if I can. I don't see too much going on up there. But maybe this one? Oh no, he's just going all over the place. There might be a pipe somewhere. Uh, can you jump up? No, you're going the wrong direction. Okay, that's a little convoluted. Ooh, what is going on with all these blocks? These are the kind of blocks that I think you can go under them and sort of in front of them, yep. And there's the evil fire guys, I don't like these dudes. I still don't see too much more. There were coins leading up there, I'm sure that'll be something. Definitely looks like it. Is there a pipe? No, not quite. Oh, it's a little switch. Okay, whoa, excuse me, gentlemen. I have a place to be, and I guess it's this way. Oh, right here, okay, easy enough. Didn't even know. Okay, whoa, 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 no, come on! I shouldn't have made a leap of faith there, that was awful. Ah, I'm making so many mistakes in this world. Let me go ahead and get that extra fire flower right away, and then, whoop, got it. I got this, we're doing really good now. Whoa, and I get hit immediately. <laughs> Maybe not doing as well as I hoped. Okay, so gotta be careful with all of this. Wait, I walked past it. No, come on, uh-oh. I might not be able to get up there properly now. Um, especially with this jerk in the way. These guys are ruining my time right now. Uh, come on, jump, 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 dude. What are you, what, what, what's your problem? Come on. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get myself the fire flower and hopefully I won't, do, won't waste it. Oh, that is super stinky. I don't know if I can get up there now. Cause that guy just ruined everything. Cause he's a jerk. Look at him going the wrong way. Maybe it's the way I'm facing. But like I'm trying to face this way and then he'll turn around. I think it changes how I'm facing. There we go, go, go this way. Okay, just go anyway, just not that way though. Come on now, this is the worst. Like this is really is the worst. Maybe I could just, ugh. No you can't. It's like you can't do that for real. What the heck? What am I? <sighs> Oh, oh, I just barely made that. Man, I really don't like World 2. World 2 stinks, I'm out of here. It smells like, oh gosh, shouldn't have done that again. No, no, not making the same mistake twice. I'm making new mistakes, like running into boomerangs from boomerang bros. And then I see this secret, I remember this one. I remember that one all right. Gotta go this way. And if we go down here, we hopefully don't run into enemies that'll take me out and make me have to do all of that again. There we go. Be careful, what is this guy gonna do? Cause I know he's a little jumper dude. Oh, there it is, so try, try to jump again, please. No, 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 go that way. Oh, I really don't like how this works, I'm out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, see you forever, never wanna be back here again. Got it. Okay, so I gotta be super duper careful cause these jerks are still everywhere. I don't care about the one up, I just wanna leave. I wanna go home back to the Mushroom Kingdom where everything was green and fun. <laughs> Next world will be so much better, but we got so much work left to do in this world. Oh, it's the worst. Okay, so I re now I'm starting to get more tempted to get one of these, but we'll wait. We'll wait until we're really struggling because the struggle can really be real later. <laughs> so, we'll save up like that and we'll move on to world 2-6. What may we find here? Something for sure. Hmm, let me go ahead and get that. I don't see too much else, so I think we're good. Oh my, oh my, this is not going to be easy. There is not a lot of room for error on this tiny little platform when I'm just mini Mario. So come on, come on, give me that mushroom. Thank you. It is really weird to move around on something like this. I really wish I would have had a fire flower, but hey, maybe if I hold on for long enough, I can get one. Come on, consider it a challenge. Oh gosh, no, I didn't want him. Take him back, take him back. I didn't want the fire flower, or the, pro, the chomper, whatever. You know what it is. <laughs> You're calling on all the wrong things. Oh gosh, uh, can I go up there, please, going up? Oh my. 
Get these coins. Oh, goodbye. Oh, fire flower. Okay, hold on. Oh no, oh, no, and it's gone. You're token away already. One up, ooh, that'll be helpful for when I eventually get taken out. Jeez, it's just, it never ends. Yeah, you guys stay on that one. I'll be on this one. No, wait, another fire flower. I really need this. I need to keep this. Whoa, somehow I survived. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, be careful. I'm gonna plop down here and get rid of you. And then don't forget, yo, oh, come on, I thought you were gonna move a little more to the left. You stinker. Oh, star coin. Easy enough. Oh gosh, big dude. Gigantic piranha plant of doom. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the level. And I don't know where this final star coin is gonna be, so I gotta keep my eyes peeled. I gotta be at the ready. This platform is going away. So I'm gonna go like that. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to, all right. <laughs> they, they want me to go insane with this. This is really crazy for World 2. Like, I gotta say, the difficulty spike is, is there and very spiky. Gotta be careful. There's a fireball headed right for me. Going ready, set, jump. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't that much of a threat. Oh, what in the world is this? Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is just bizarre. This is what I'm saying the original New Super Mario Bros. game is just so enjoyably wacky. See ya, piranha plant. You just got popped away. Oh boy. Uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Saw it a mile away. Knew it wasn't gonna work out. Oh, hey! Look at the classic music. I love that. And the fireworks. I forget what triggers that. I think it's the time on the clock in which we complete it. it doesn't get us anything extra. It's just a funny little addition. And it looks like they gave us a free piranha. Oh, not a piranha plant. Why do I want to call everything a piranha plant right now? I don't know. See, that's what we get for completing it on the, the clock is that we get a bonus mushroom hunt. So that's very cool. So we're not gonna go ahead and do the castle just yet. We still have a number of other things to do, like going to world 2A and getting all the star coins in the secret exit, because there's definitely going to be one. There's a pipe here, which is a pretty cool thing we'll explain once we unlock it. Oh, this is sort of a sneak peek of next episode. Next world is gonna have more levels like this, except without the, the pyramids in the background. Okay, uh, and it's awful. <laughs> I don't like this big fish guy. I don't think anybody does. He's sort of the thing of nightmares, with his evil grin and his super sharp teeth. I don't like it. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and, whoop. Haha, <laughs> that actually worked! I got a two for one deal! Oh boy. Uh, we gotta be careful with this. Cause I don't know where he is and I don't wanna land right into a bite of the evil shark fish. I love the music here though. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh no. Whoop! Yeah, I got him! Oh no. It's so scary all the time. Can I land on this piranha? No, it's, a, it's a palm tree. It's not a piranha. I, I just, everything that starts with P. I wanna call piranha right now because I've said that word so much in today's episode. Ooh, new fire flower. It has nothing to do with piranhas. Okay, so what's going on up here? A uh, Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff indeed. Let's try that again. I, I don't think I can get up that way. Don't know what the deal is. This area is a little odd. But I'm just trying to get whatever coins I can without getting taken out. There's also some extra stuff here. Wait, this is this is a little weird. Oh boy. I feel like there's something I'm missing there. But maybe not? I guess not. Oh, I got an extra one up out of it. Let us go like this. And... Oh, I do remember something really tricky here. I think I gotta... Ah! I think I gotta jump off those Koopas. So let's try that out. Ready? Uh... No, I missed! <laughs> Come on! Get out of here! Get out of here, Mr. Fish. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was exactly what I was supposed to do, wasn't it? I don't know though, we'll just float gently down for now. Oh, there was, there is a star coin there. Oh, 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 okay, I see, I see, I understand. It's all coming to me now. But before I do that, I need to get this star coin. So, there's a number of things I've yet to do. I didn't do that correctly. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, wow. That was just an interesting dodge I did. Come on now. Let's try to do this part correctly. All I need to do is do that, get that star coin, bounce off, you jerk! You are not nice! I was about to do it and you messed me up! Ugh, that guy's the worst. Is, oh gosh, we fall quicker with this. Is he gonna be back? He is, okay, whoop, 
Yeah, we made it. Oh my gosh. This this is so ridiculous. Okay, give me this fire flower. Nice, keep moving. Through the red pipe, don't know where it brings me. Right here. Is this a secret exit? I don't think it is. Oh no, it is, maybe. Yeah, this is the secret exit. Okay, well we found the normal exit is going the normal way. Finding the secret that was pretty nice too. Okay, so there's that done. We'll just head right back into the level, but that unlocks the cannon. We showcase what the cannon does last episode. We talked about it at the least. We'll do a full on showcase of it, probably in a bonus after episode after we're done the main game. There's a lot of cool bonus content we can do with this game because you also unlock a lot of cool, boy, oh gosh, a lot of cool mini games for beating it. So I'm super excited for that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff after the main game is just really, really cool. And that's also the case for the other mainline DS game for Mario, uh, Super Mario 64 DS. So I'm just gonna ignore this dude as much as possible. Cause I just, I don't like him one bit. He's a mean, mean guy. I don't know what I did to him, except for probably tastes good. That's probably the whole reason he's trying to eat me. Uh, but you know what? I don't think that's any reason to hurt me, okay? You know, I, I don't know if you taste good, but even if you did, I'd leave you be. I don't, I don't have any intention of eating you. Zebras are herbivores. Okay, oh boy. Hold on, I didn't want to go up here actually. I just don't know where he is and I don't trust it. Okay, quickly. Ah, I made it. So this is the normal exit way, it seems. Oh, this is totally different. Oh, I like it. But yeah, that's where we would have gone. Okay, that all makes sense. Whoa, whoa. I, I definitely messed it up. I'm supposed to bounce off of him so that we can do some fancy stuff to land here. Couldn't care less. But I guess it's sort of its way of teaching you that you can do that. That way you can go back through the level and find the secret exit. That's smart. Luckily, I already knew the answer. So there is that done. And luckily, we uh, can showcase this now. Uh, so what this does is if you ever wanted just a shortcut through World 2, which honestly is a little weird. I mean, World 2 is plenty difficult. I can see why you'd want that. But if you're gonna get anything, why not get the warp pipe that's gonna send you to a different world entirely anyways, you know? I don't know. Well, there's only one level left to do in his World 2 castle. We're gonna beat up whatever boss there is. Last time it was Bowser. Is it gonna be Bowser again? I don't know. So we got a giant spiky ball. That's not good. Wait, whoa, I didn't realize it wasn't, it was gonna do that. Okay, well, we get to get our, su our superpower, our uh, fire flower. Oh, I thought there was gonna be another one in there. All right, well, I'm sure one will show up eventually. Look right here. So it seems like the spiky balls are the theme for this castle so far. I'm gonna have to be very careful then because they are everywhere. They have a lot of momentum. It's bounced back and forth forever. Oh gosh, oh, it's lucky that I just got this. So there actually is a secret exit for this castle that I'll have to be aware of. You would think that would still hurt him. It rolls over his head. He must have one powerful cap. I mean, it isn't cappy at this point. <laughs> Imagine if it was, that'd be weird. It'd be very interesting if they made a 2D side-scrolling Super Mario Odyssey. I don't think it would work very well mechanically. Oh, what? No, come on! I thought that was gonna work. Oh well, should have just jumped over it. Oh, and now we're back out here. Oh yeah, you know what? I know what the secret exit is for this. Now that I remember it, it's going to be very difficult, but it's also what unlocks World 4. So we'll talk about that when the time comes. But for right now, we'll just focus on this. All right, there's our second star coin. And a lot of bullet bills are everywhere. Where's the third star coin gonna be? Uh, Somewhere around here, I'm sure. So we can't get up there. Okay, whoa, that's not really what I was looking to do, but it's what I did. So yeah, you can see that that uh, mechanic is back where it makes a hill, but this time instead of making a hill, it sort of makes a dip. Which can be a little bit more difficult to deal with. So I need to grab onto this rope. Whoa, well hold on. Okay. No, I can't get up there. Maybe I'm not swinging enough. Mario of the jungle, instead of George. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, this is where we can get Mini Mario. Okay, well we'll need this for later. I'm not gonna quite use this now unless I can get a star coin out of it. But there are two ways to beat the boss fight and we'll figure out what that means in just a moment's time. But uh, for now, I'm gonna take whatever the game will give me when it comes to super or power ups. I probably shouldn't have, because we could still get a fire flower. Oh yeah, okay, so I know how this works. We need to do that. Grab this, and then press this button. Gotta be careful about that, because if we get hit by that, we won't have our power up. So what is the boss fight gonna be, Bowser? Let's find out. Uh, hi Bowser Jr. Goodbye Bowser Jr. Uh, 
Oh gosh, it's a zombie pokey. Ah, ow! <laughs> okay, I didn't know he shot things like that. I don't think I've ever tried to just attack him. Ow! Oh gosh, this is really bad. Um, this is really bad. Oh, oh, I missed that? Oh, it's so hard to hit him. He's just such a skinny little thing. No, oh, that, that time I got you. How'd that feel? Okay, boop, haha, <laughs> that was good. Oh, we got him! Okay, cool, get out of here. Nice, there we go. There is another boss of food. we get a key out of it. But oh, what is that? One thing Bowser Jr. is taking Peach again. But as you can see, we are going to world three, but if we wanna get to world four, we need to beat that boss as mini Mario and then go down that little tunnel. Isn't that ridiculous? That's how you unlock not one, but two different worlds in this game, world four and world seven. So we're gonna go ahead and do exactly just that right now. It ain't gonna be easy, I can tell you that much. It is not gonna be easy, but I will do what I can to get there. I'll do what I can to succeed with it. But as you can see on the bottom screen, we have gotten all the star coins for World 2, which is really exciting. Now though, we're gonna get the secret exit and hope everything turns out okay. <laughs> okay, so we have ourselves right here, the Mini Mario. Let's drive for this. Go ahead and get it. Hide right here. Be careful, be careful. So we did that, which is an easy way to get that done, but I don't want to get the power up there because it'll get rid of my mini Mario, which is a shame. The thing is that even though I had a fire flower and I grabbed the mini Mario like that, you gotta be careful because it doesn't give you the item in your little bottom screen, which I think is total baloney. It's just like, why not? Usually if you had a fire flower and you pick up a fire flower, the fire flower will go into your thing. Either way, we probably wanna focus on Oh no, I thought I could jump higher than that. The problem is that you can't just jump on his head normally. You need the butt slam on it, or it won't do any damage. Well, here we go again. Okay, I've been trying this for more times than I like to admit. I actually sort of grinded up some lives because I just didn't want to keep losing them as many times as I have. Oh, I missed. Come on, come on, come on, ready? No. Oh. Nice, okay, there we go, there we go, we're fine. No, come on. The problem is that Mini Mario is exactly what it says, Mini, so it's it's so easy to miss and you're so floaty, but you have to dedicate exactly where you wanna be because when you butt slam, even if you just hit the ever so slight side of him, it's going to count as a hit, so it's just so easy. Come on, one more hit, that's all we need to do, all we need to accomplish. Come on, oh, you stinker. Come on, come on, come on. No, oh my gosh, we just barely did it. I swear I was gonna get hit there. Oh well, I don't care. We got ourselves another key. This time as many Mario is like an eighth of the size of the key. And, huh, nobody's here. Well, that's fine, you can just go like that. <laughs> Isn't that just silly? So there we have it. We should have completed all the way then World 2, and that's World 4, which we won't be tackling next episode, that'll be the episode after. Of course, World 4 will be in episode four, but uh, very, very cool. I'm super duper happy about that. We have completed World 2 as far as I understand. Let me just go through it really quickly to make sure. Of course, when it comes to all the mushrooms and cannons and stuff, like I always say, we'll be doing that at another time. But when it comes to the levels themselves, we've got it all completed, so there's World 2 done, and in the next episode, we'll be tackling, of course, World 3. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment mini zebra so that you've watched at the end that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.